Hello everyone, I'm Yang Yang from Harun University of Science and Technology. It's my pleasure to present our work, SPMFS, a scalable file system and optimum persistent memory. Emerging OM technology promises to support faster persistency and better adjustability, while providing near DRAM performance. Therefore, OM is becoming an attractive storage device. After the long wait, the first commercial OM is finally available with the release of Intel Optin DC persistent memory. Researchers conducted a series of experiments to evaluate and understand the performance characteristics and limitations of the persistent memory. But according to the latest experimental studies, the performance of Optin PMM does not behave as expected like a snow DRAM. More specifically, PMM has a severe read-write performance asymmetry. The maximum write bandwidth of a single PMM is about 2.3 gigabyte per second, far lower than the maximum read bandwidth of 6.6 gigabyte per second. More importantly, as we can see from this figure, PMM has limited parallelism. The write throughput of PMM reaches the peak at four threads but then tails off standard as the number of threads increase. While the common use the DRAM-based NYM emulate PMEP scans well, the parallelism limitations of optimum PMM is likely due to its internal hardware resources conditions. However, it significantly handles mountain thread applications from taking advantage of PMM. To reap its performance benefit, many OM based file systems such as ELT4 DEX, PMFS, NOVA, Strata, and Lib NOMMIO have been proposed to reduce software overhead by bypassing the page cache or processing in user space. However, these file systems ignore the limited scalability in PMM. As shown in this figure, all four representative file systems exhibit poor write scalability. Besides, there exists an appropriate thread count to reach the maximum throughput. However, the number of user threads is changing over time and determined by both applications and OS dynamically. In addition, the file systems manage metadata resources globally and adopt locking mechanisms to issue data consistency for concurrent accessors. But the lock based serialization introduces serialization costs and also limits scalability. And I know the level log also serializes the concurrent read write within a file, even though these accessors do not have any overlapping data. The overview of SPMFS is shown in this fig. SPMFS consists of a user space library file system, UserFS, and a kernel part, kernelFS. UserFS is mainly responsible for processing our requests efficiently in user space. While kernelfs manages and allocates all global resources such as Fring Arnos, Fring Space for userfs. Most performance critical data operations are processed in userfs, bypassing the snow kernel. Any complex metadata operations need the intervention of kernelfs. Therefore, SPMFS mainly leverages userfs to exploit the performance of optimum PMM to provide a mountain core scalability. SPMFS foster requests a bunch of file system metadata resources such as a frame block from the kernel FS to independently manage and use them in user space to alleviate contention on the resources. SPMFS devotes them into poor core frame lists. Each thread requests the resources from the corresponding list according to the user's core ID. Second, we design a fine grand range log to support concurrent accesses up on a file. SPMFS creates a log list for each file. When a thread issue a read or write operation over a given access range, it first initializes the log node structure with the access range and the log type. When receiving a read log, SPMFS traverses the list to detect the conflicting log until the correct insertion position is found according to its start point. If it comes across a conflicting write log, the read log waits until the write log node is removed. 
then we insert the read knock node into the list. Finally, SPMFS continues to scan the list and wait for the releases of the follow conflict logs until it finds a node with a range that totally exceeds the access the range. By now, the read lock is acquired. As for the right range of also list, we consider all read write locks in the list as exclusive locks. Since writes are handled exclusively, SPMFS forced reads for all conflict locks with overlapping ranges to be deleted. When there exists no conflict locks, SPMFS inserts the write lock into the list. However, if two conflict exclusive locks arrive at the same time, SPMFS inserts them into the list successfully due to ignoring each other, consequently resulting in incorrect lock states. Therefore, SPMFS introduces an additional validation step to avoid this state. Once the right lock is inserted, SPMFS retrieves the list from the hand until it finds the right lock node. If during this retrieval, it finds a conflict log with an overlapping range, it removes the right log and restarts the insertion attempt from the beginning. Therefore, with the traversal, we can detect and fix the incorrect log states. For the scalability issue of PMM, we designed a dedicated R-thread pool to maintain an appropriate number of R-threaders to exploit the internal parallelism of PMM. The user threads of an application are not allowed to directly invoke the right function of the file system to process the right requests. The thread pool takes over these requests. More specifically, SPNFS creates in advance an R thread pool with a request queue to receive incoming RAS requests and a fixed number of R threaders to handle these requests when receiving a new RAS request. SPNFS allocates a free space and sends it to the request queue. The internal R threaders repeatedly pull the requests from the queue and the persistent data from the user space to the NOM space directly. The right mechanism may need to a right inconsistent state. We also propose a pattern garden the right strategy due to time limited placing our paper for more detail. The text server is configured with two socket 16 core Intel Xeon CPU and a 128 gigabyte opt-in PMM to evaluate our SPMFS. We compare SPMFS with three representatively kernel OM5 systems, including ERT4 DEX, PMFS, Nova, and the two user space file systems, including Strata, NIB NOMMIO. To evaluate the right performance, we issue sequentially right requests and different number of user threads. Each thread inclusively access its all file. The kernel file system have a similar performance trait, which is consistent with the previous result. Strata has a lower right throughput than other file system. That is because Strata needs to migrate all data again with higher write amplification. NIB NOMMIO achieves higher throughput. Unfortunately, its performance drops significantly with higher thread count, since it ignores the scalability issue of optimum PMM. For SPMFS, the performance is substantially higher than existing file system, especially with more than four threads due to its lower contention for shared resources. SPMFS can achieve up to two times the right throughput improvement, but the improvement still degrees with higher thread count. SPMFS further alleviates the scalability issue by introducing dedicated R threaders. The result is true SPMFS with thread pool provides higher and stably right throughput. To evaluate the range log performance, we use FRO workload to issue 32 KB size ROs to random run the data to a shared file with different number of FRO threads and measure the right throughput of these NOM based file systems. As we can see from this fig, 
the three kernel NY based file systems maintain stable write performance regardless of the thread count. Since it uses inode level IW log to control the concurrent writes, and only one thread is permitted to write data to the shared file each time. NIB NYMMIO can provide better write performance. That is because it uses a finer grand poor block log to protect each block. However, the finer grand log incurs higher locking and unlocking overheads. Each 32 KB size write requires eight poor block logs to protect the access range. In addition, NIB NYMIO crushes with more than four FIO threads. SPMFS adopts a fine grand access range log. Each access only requires a range log to protect the access region. The range log not only provides high concurrency for non conflicting accessors, but also reduces locking overhead. Therefore, SPMFS achieves higher write performance compared to other NWM based file systems. In conclusion, PMM and the existing NWM based file systems have limited write scalability. Therefore, we design a new scalable persistent memory file systems, SPMFS, with poor core resources managed, a fine grand access range log, and a dedicated our thread pool. The evaluation results show SPMFS exhibit high write scalability compared to provides NWM based file systems. An open persistent memory. Thanks for your listening.